This video is for all of Jehovah's Witnesses that are curious and for you, for all of you that are having doubts. Right? There's a lot of witnesses out there that have doubts. And they were, they're just too scared to say anything out loud because they know that they'll be shunned, people will judge them, right? But um, I'm here to say what witnesses are scared to say. I can say it, right? I have nothing to lose at this point. Um, and a lot of you guys know by now that I am classified as an imposter, right? Did my re done my research. The organization, there's a reason why they tell you not to listen to apostates. There's a reason, right? Because when you find out the truth about the truth, it will blow you away. It will blow you away. Oh, I thought I was prepared and, um, yeah, you, you no, nothing can, nothing can prepare you for what you're, about to learn when you when you learn the truth about the truth, nothing can get you mentally prepared. Right? When you're a devout witness and you believe that <clears throat> you believe that everything that these men, everything that the organization is saying is accurate, you believe it down to the very T. Right? As a lot of you know, a lot of you guys know that I was born and raised born and raised in this organization, right? I was an active for quite some long, for quite, quite a long time. For quite a while, I was an active. Even when I was completely inactive, I had no desire to come back, right? Even then, I left the organization and I was out there in the world, had no desire to come back. I still thought it was the truth. Whenever someone talked badly about the organization, I would correct them in a heartbeat, right? I was, I was, I still stood up for this organization because I honest to God thought that it was the truth even when I was fully inactive, right? Even when I was fully inactive, I, I never, never doubted it for, for one second, never doubted it, right? <clears throat> so you guys know that I tried to come back after being out, after being inactive for quite some time, tried coming back, right? I met the, and I know witnesses don't believe in faith, so I'm trying to use my words carefully here. Um, but I truly believe that things happen for a reason. Everything really happens for a reason, right? I'm trying not to use the word fate, but that's what it feels like, right? So when I tried to come back, I, I spoke to the elders, and it was the way that this one elder, and you know who you are if you're watching this, but this elder, which happens to be the Kobe, the coordinator of the congregation, right? The way he showered me with so much hate, and the sad, the sad part is, I came, I came to these elders with pure good intentions to come back to this organization, right? I changed my entire life around. I came back with pure good intentions to come back, and this one elder, which happens to be the coordinator of the Kobe, he had it out for me. For some reason, I still don't know to this day. I probably never will, right? But he, I came to these elders with pure good intentions. This one elder came to me with pure evil, just, just wicked intentions, right? His, his focus was to get me kicked out. I was the fellowship before the judicial even started. Because he said, he, said, he said to himself, if he tells me anything negative, he commits, if, he said, if he says he committed any sins, I'm going to fellowship him. Like, that's how bad it was. That's how bad it was, right? Um, whenever you... Whenever someone's an actor for nearly a decade and you have a, judici a judicial, right? And the first thing that comes out this elder's mouth is, tell us everything you've done. First thing that comes out of his mouth, no, hey, we so happy you came back to Jehovah. This is where you belong. Tell us everything you've done. Tell us all your sins. Whenever that's the first thing, that person is gunning for you. You're done. Like I said, I was the fellowship before the judicial even started. All he had to hear was some sins. Boom. It was, it was done. It was over after that, right? Um... Anyway, that had to happen, right? Because if that didn't happen, I would have never woken up. And witnesses, if you're looking at this video, you're looking at this video for a reason. It means you're either have, you're having doubts, right? Or you've been having doubts. And you know that something is wrong in an organization. And you're just too scared to say this out loud, right? You can't say this to a witness because witnesses, they're supposed to just go with the flow. 
You're not supposed to have doubts. And if you have doubts, most witnesses just put them to the back of their heads and keep it moving. Keep it pushing, right? <clears throat> now, I realize there's nothing that I can say. There's nothing, I'm, there's nothing I can say because I, I got to put myself in your shoes, right? If you're a witness and you're having doubts and you're watching this video, it doesn't mean that no matter what I say, I'm not expecting you just to automatically believe me, right? I want like the governing body, and that's what they that's what they do. They 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 speak. <laughs> they just they just say whatever they want to say, and they expect people just to believe them blindly, right? With no valid proof, with no valid proof. I'm not telling you to do that. I wouldn't. I'm not saying that, right? And when I personally start to do my research, I went in with a complete open mind. I, my, I was completely open minded when I started to do my my research. I'm, when I say research, I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about JW at all. I'm talking about real research YouTube Google Reddit right when I did research about the organization on different platforms right I, I went in completely open minded and and it's like that's something that it, it, it's sad how that's forbidden you know I get it I get why the governing body they tell witnesses not to you know that's a big no -no. they tell witnesses not to go on, on online because they know that. They know damn well. The minute people start to do some research about this organization, people are going to wake up. And people are going to realize that they've been lied to their entire life. Now, witnesses don't know this because they don't... The governing body, only they only talk about the good. They only talk about people coming into the organization. They don't talk about the people that leave, right? But witnesses need to know this. The last five years alone, a million people have left the organization in the last five years a million people have they started to have doubts right they got online they googled Jehovah's Witnesses the youth they went on YouTube and they didn't like what they found out and neither did I Frank to be honest I could be Frank and I wasn't like I said I wasn't mentally prepared for it at first right but what do you think about the organization it's not what you <laughs> it's not Whatever you, you think you know about the organization, trust me, you don't know. Just like I didn't know. Now, when you have a, a governing body leader, Jeffrey Jackson, you can look at this online. This is not no apostate stuff. It's not apostate. This is something that happened in court. The Royal the Australian Royal Commission, right? You can look at this on YouTube online. It's not apostate. It's in court, right? Jeffrey Jackson lied under oath. He lied on it. Oh, they asked him, can you believe this? <laughs> they asked him, do you, are you, do you believe that you're God's spokesman on earth, right? That you are a spokesman for God on earth. And you wouldn't believe what he said. That's for you to see. Because if I tell you, you're not going to, you know, I don't expect you to believe me. But this is something that you have to see for yourself. Just like I saw for myself, right? But when you have a governing body leader lie under oath, that's done. When you find out that this organization is hiding pedophiles, there's so many pedophiles roaming free, right? And a lot, most of them are elders. The majority of them are elders. They're abusing their power, molesting little kids, right? And they're getting away with it. They're getting away with it. This organization allows that. That is not an apostate lie. You can look on YouTube. There's thousands and thousands of testimonies of former witnesses. Thousands and thousands. I wish I was lying about this. This is one time in my life. When I woke up, I wish I was wrong. I, sometimes I feel like I wish I didn't wake up. Because I know what that meant. It meant that I was going to automatically lose my Jehovah's Witness family and friends. Right? But once you find out the truth about the truth, there's no going back. Imagine if you was married to a partner, right? You're married to somebody. You walk in a room and you see them in bed with somebody else. You can never unsee that. That's done. Once that happens, that relationship is over, right? So once I found out the truth about the truth, once I heard that this organization is hiding pedophiles, once I read, saw that on YouTube, right? I saw that Jeffrey Jackson, the governing body, he lied under oath. About this, about being a spokesman for God, he lied about that. When you see stuff like that, and then when you hear stories of people 
committing suicide from being shunned, from being defellowshipped, or because of some elder abused their power. Right? So you hear all these negative things about the organization. This is not lies. These are facts. These are hardcore facts. They're not lies. When you see a governing body leader out of his own mouth lie on YouTube, that's a fact. That's not a lie. That's a fact. And witnesses need to know this. Now, if it's the truth, you have to say this. So what do you, why don't they want us to go online and, and look on, look on information? Look on, look, how, why, why don't they want us to go online and, and, and research our, our religion? What are they hiding? What, what, what's so bad about researching and Googling Jehovah's Witnesses? If it's, a, if it's the truth, you should have nothing to run away from, right? Think about that. The only reason why I keep doing these videos, right? Because I want witnesses to wake up. Like, this, this people keep, this people waking up in their 70s, 70s and 80s, and they've been in this organization for so long, for 50 plus years. I don't want that to be you guys. I don't want that to be you guys. I don't want you guys to wake up decades from now, you know, when your life is pretty much over with. <clears throat> if, like I said, if, you, if you're watching this video, you're here for a reason. And like I said, I'm not telling you to automatically believe me. I'm not saying, just take my word. I'm not saying that. All I'm telling you to do, do your own research, right? And you have nothing to lose. If you don't like what you see online, on YouTube, on Google, or Reddit, if you don't like what you see, guess what? You don't have to continue watching it. You could go back preaching, go back, you could continue being a witness, right? You have nothing to lose. If you don't like what you see, continue doing what you was doing before, keep it moving, right? But everyone is entitled. You're entitled. You can't have no man tell you, you can't go online and look up those women. No, you're entitled to do your own research. You're entitled to that. And um, yeah, like I said, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't mentally prepared because I honestly, I thought it was the truth. I thought it was the, the truth of my entire life. Even when I left, I thought it was the truth, right? But when you do your research, you can't unsee. You can't, it's not going back. This is a one-way trip. It's not going back. But that's for you to see for yourself. This is not an apostate lie. I have nothing to lie. I have, well, I have nothing to gain from lying about this, right? And just keep in mind, like, now that I'm an apostate, say this, you have to say to yourself, I already know that there's no... Me personally, I know that's no paradise earth, right? And Jehovah's Witnesses, if you if you truly believe that a paradise earth is coming, right? After this video is over, read your Bible, go on, J go on JW.org, right? Read your Bible and look for the word paradise earth. You will not find it. You will not find the word to paradise earth together in the Bible. Now, the word paradise, right? It's found, it's mentioned... I think three or four times in the Bible, right? But if you read the entire, if you read it in, in um in context, right? If you if you read the entire verse, you will see it's mentioned three or five, three or four times in the Bible. You will see that each time it's talking about a, a paradise in heaven. It's talking about heaven. It's not talking about an earthly paradise. Like I said, you will not find the words paradise earth in the Bible. That should be clear indication that there is no paradise of coming. And witnesses, you know damn well that the paradise earth was coming, it would have been here by now. Would have been here by now. How long have they been talking about this? They've been saying paradise earth for over 100 years, right? How long have we been in the last days? Why, why, why has billions and billions of people died already for Jehovah to, to not take any action, right? Because you're going to say, oh, he's still waiting. He's still waiting for people, more people to come in. And then the end will come. He's trying to save as many people as possible, right? That's what a witness would say, right? But let's be honest. It's been, what, eight, eight and a half million witnesses for how long now? There's never going to be 20 million Jehovah's Witnesses, 30 million Jehovah's Witnesses, 40, 50. There's never going to be, like I said, it's never going to be 20 million Jehovah's Witnesses. It's been pretty stagnant lately, right? It's been eight and a half, maybe nine for the last how many years now? 
but they're not growing millions and millions. Like, like I said, it's not going to 15, 20 million. That's never going to happen. You know why? Because each year that passes, each year that passes, it's way more people waking up and leaving than those coming in. Way more people leaving than coming in. Way more. But they will never tell you this because they don't want you to wake up too, of course, right? Now, this this new um, exercise patience convention that's being held, right? That you guys had this past weekend or last weekend. Why do you think they're telling you to be patient? Because people are getting tired of waiting. They keep, they're getting tired of hearing the last days right around the corner. You know, like every witness knows that the paradise should have been here already. It should have been here. Why would God, why would he prolong this any longer when it's only, it's always been eight, eight and a half, maybe nine million, right? And that's not even accurate because, like I said, there's more people leaving. There's people leaving. Way more people leaving than coming in. Just please, if you take any, if you take anything from this video, just please, please do your research. Do your own research. Right? Like I said, I have nothing to lie about. I have nothing to lie about. And you know what? This is the best part. If you don't like what you see, you could continue to be a witness again. You could continue to be a witness, continue to do what you was doing before. Right? But at least take that chance. At least take that chance. YouTube, Google, Reddit, you will see that. You will see three things uh, for sure. One, Jeffrey Jackson lying under oath. Your own governing body leader lying under oath. When they ask him, are you God's true spokesman? See what he says. Look, look at his response. See what he says. You will see how thousands on YouTube, you see thousands and thousands of people were molested. They ran to the elders. The elders didn't do nothing. Half of the time, the elders were doing it. The, the elders were the ones molesting people. Half of the time. Covering it up. The organization knows about this. The higher ups, the governing body, they know about this. They don't care. You will see thousands of people. Uh, you hear stories of thousands of people dying from from being shunned, from being the fellowship because some because some elder decided to abuse his power and and keep someone the fellowship for two, three, four, five years. The no blood policy, when you think about it, there's no scripture that backs that up. The scripture that they use, I think it's in Leviticus, they say, um, it's the scripture says not to consume, not to eat, not to eat blood. It don't say nothing about taking blood to save your life. Do you, why would God, Job's Witness, why would a God, why would God want you to die? That makes no sense. Why would he want you to die so that your loved ones are sad without you in this world, right? When you could just take blood have a medical procedure to save your life. Does that make sense? Why would a loving God want you to die? Your family misses you. If your family's going to miss you, you're not going to be here no more. Why would he want that when you could just take blood and still live? Right? And if he wanted you to have clean blood, right? Because right? I said it's all, it's all about cleanliness or holiness, whatever. He could just snap your finger. He could just snap his fingers, right? And boop. You're clean again. Right, your, your blood is cleansed or whatever. He could do that, but why would he result to you dying? That makes no sense. That wouldn't that wouldn't be a loving a loving God wouldn't want that. You wouldn't he would he wouldn't want you to die when you could take blood to save your life. That's all man made. These doctrines, when you think about the doctrines, they're not there to protect the people. They're against the people. The fellowshipping, they, 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 they make it sound like a soul. Oh, it's a loving arrangement. No, it's not. Every witness knows deep down inside, that's far from loving. Being the fellowship, it's far from loving. That two witness rule that protects pedophiles, that's far from loving. Because when you're, when you're stuck in a situation, when you're in a situation, when you're, when you're molested, and you run to the, you, you run to, you're running to the elders, and you're telling them what happened, and they say, oh, well, you didn't have a witness. Sorry. How, how does that protect the person that was abused, that was molested? That, that works against, that works against the victim, not for the victim. 
All these policies, when you think about it, they're not there to protect the people. They're not there to protect the people. So witnesses, if you're watching this, please, you're watching this for a reason. You're probably having doubts, right? You're probably having doubts. And I'm living proof that there is no Holy Spirit. I'm living proof that there is no Holy Spirit. You know why? Because I was an apostate. I woke up shortly after I got the fellowship. I woke up, right? I started doing my research. And the elders, six elders from two different congregations said that they prayed. They prayed about it and they welcomed me back in the organization, right? Not knowing that I was an apostate, but I had to do that. I had to do that. The, the, that was an experiment. Those six elders have failed tremendously. Bringing me back in, reinstating me was the worst thing that they can do. Because I've just proven to the entire Jehovah's Witness community that there is no Holy Spirit. This is a man-made organization that claims that they have God's Holy Spirit, but there is no Holy Spirit. Because if there was, then me being apostate, me watching apostate material, I would have never got welcomed back in the organization. If six elders said they prayed to God and that, that they felt like I was ready to come back to an organization, that means that those six elders have no Holy Spirit. But I had to do that, right? I had to do that because when it... Right before I got the fellowship, when the elders sat me down and they said, oh, you're going to be the fellowship, we prayed about it, right? That was the very beginning of me waking up. That's when I woke up. And I said to myself, hold on, how did they pray? And they said that they don't believe that I'm repentant. And they said they prayed about it, right? And I, in my heart, I knew I was, I was repentant. Remember, I was inactive for so long, for nearly a decade, right? I, I, was, I changed my, my, my life around for two years before I even talk to the elders. I was on the right path. I, I knew God would have been happy about that, right? I was repentant. But these elders wanted to abuse their power. And all they have to say is, I said this before, elders have a, a get out of jail free card, right? When you have a judicial with them, if you're repentant, these elders, if they want to abuse their power, all they have to say is, we prayed about it. This is from Jehovah. That's all they have to say. And then you're done. And then it doesn't matter what you say. It's sad that elders have that much power that they can lie. They can lie and get away with it. Right? They can lie and get away with it like they did in my case. Well, that, that, that Kobe, the coordinated, he didn't like me. He had it out for me. He made it his mission to the fellowship. Right? He lied about it. He said, hey, we prayed about it. This is from Jehovah. Right? And I had to patiently wait two years to show the prove to the entire witness community that these men have no Holy Spirit. You know? They shot themselves in the foot by abusing their power. They shot themselves in the foot because I had to reverse the situation and, and show them and their entire witness community that they have no Holy Spirit because they really stayed in apostate. They really stayed in apostate. So witnesses, you watching this, just know that there is no Holy Spirit in this organization. This is purely a man-made organization. It's just a men running the show. Men running the show saying that they have God's backing when they don't. They don't. So, once again, if you're watching this video, you're watching this for a reason. I just want to encourage you, please do your research. Do your research. Outside of JW at all, look on YouTube, Google, Reddit. You will see for yourself that I'm not lying. I have nothing to lie about. Why would I lie? Why, why would I jeopardize living... Well, yeah, why would I jeopardize living forever on a paradise earth? Why would I throw that away? Does that make sense? Does that make think about that? That makes no sense. Read your Bible after this. You won't you won't find the words paradise earth. Is that an apostate lie? Is that an apostate lie? You won't find the words paradise earth. But that's for you. That is for you to see for yourself. Alright? So I want to encourage you once again, please do your research. I love you guys, all right?